Hey, what's up? It's me, Scotty Young. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I just said hit the bell. My kids say that running around the house. Who's that over there? Kid in the office. <laughs> anyway, thanks for checking out the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about artist block and how I found ways to get past it while drawing this picture of boy. Let's go watch. Let's get started. A big question I get over the years is, do I ever get artist block? And if I do, how do I get through it, over it, past it, whatever you want to say? It definitely happens from time to time. You, you pull out the paper, you know you have the instinct to draw, and there's just nothing there. I do daily sketches, obviously, and some, some days are harder than others to find the inspiration on what I want to draw. Sometimes there's no inspiration. So I want to talk today about some of the things over the years that have helped me get past those, uh, those days where you just feel like kind of empty. And I'm talking about those days where you're like, you feel like drawing, but you just can't figure it out. You can't figure out what to draw. What am I going to draw? First thing, one of, one of the things that I started doing over the years on daily sketches, at least, was I go to social media, Twitter, Instagram. And just put a call out and say, hey, what should I draw today? Uh, most of the time, my daily sketches are just for me and they're to get whatever I'm inspired to do. But I want to draw and some days I don't have ideas. So I ask uh, you guys for ideas. And that's pretty cool because I, all of a sudden I get this list of stuff that I'm like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that. And I usually write them down on a post-it note and uh, a couple post-it notes and stick them to my, my computer. So the next time I get stuck, I've got a list of characters that I've never drawn and uh, I, can, I can dive in on those. Another way that I started, this was a long, long time ago. Uh, I don't do it as much anymore, but I would get myself in the habit. If I didn't figure out what I wanted to draw for that day, I'd pull open a sketchbook and I'd decide that today is a face day where I'm just going to fill sketchbook pages with various faces. I like to push shape and, and volume and mass on characters. So I would see how far I could take a shape of a, you know, a man's face, a woman's face, a anthropomorphic characters, things like that. And, you know, you can, you can switch up days. So on, on days where you're like, God, I have no idea what to draw today. Fill your sketchbook up with hands. I'm going to do two or three pages of hands and just look at your hand. And, and that way ideas aren't the key that day. It's you're just going to work work it out, you know. And, and sometimes f through that, the ideas will come. That brings me to my number one fix for me of getting through artist block, and that was finding a character that I could return to on days where I don't really have. I'm not inspired to do fan art for Batman, or I'm you know I, I don't have a clever thing to say, or or, or do a you know a. A commentary cartoon or anything like that. Some days you want to draw and just none of that's there. Or it's the other way. You have, you know, you're having some feelings like you know, life's throwing throwing some curveballs at you. The weight of things are, are pushing down on you, you know, whatever. And you want to try to express that and, and you don't know quite how to do that. Well, one of those days of doodling around kind of led me to that character. And that is Boy. For those of you who have been following me on social media over the years, you've noticed that I will often return to Boy, a character that I created who's just a little kid with a backpack, a snapback, and some chucks, and a gas mask. I accidentally came upon the design of Boy. You know, one of those days where I'm, I was sketching a character for a different book, it was, uh, I don't know, it's like, call, you know, some sort of apocalyptic bunny. I drew the bunny and he had a gas mask on and he had these big, tall ears. And I mean, it was basically a boy, but with bunny ears. And I looked at that one day and was trying to figure out if I liked it or not. And I took out my whiteout pen and I just erased the ears on, on him. And instead of rabbit feet, I turned those into Chuck Taylors. All of a sudden I had this character that I liked. It was very appealing to me. I didn't know what to do with him, but I liked drawing him. And so I would just start drawing him randomly doing things in a weird kind of Seussian, like Dr. Seussian, 
you know, Sam Keith, the max kind of landscape. So it wasn't quite fully post-apocalyptic. It was just weird and almost like a bizarre dreamscape. So I would just kind of have him do that. But then I was like, well, what is he doing? So I would have a weird character talk to him. What I found was boy started to become this lens in which I would explore feelings a little bit and emotions and questions about life kind of, you know, so if I got to work on a day and, you know, first hour where I want to do my daily sketch and I didn't have any ideas, I would kind of just think like, what have I been through this week? What's something, you know, and if something was heavy or something was really awesome or, you know, any of these things, I'd just pick I just pick a moment from the week or that day or that morning or a question you'd see online that you're like, gosh, that's a heavy subject matter, you know, or, and I'd have boy, I'd place boy somewhere in that scenario and explore those feelings. And it just was a really interesting exercise in, in, uh, not only exploring the questions that we all have about emotions and life and, and things like that, but it was a way for me to get over artist block. Um, if I didn't have something to draw, I always had boy on, on the side. He was waiting for me and, and Hey, you don't have something, something to draw. I'll be, I'm in, put me in, put me in coach. So what I found was creating a character not only gave me something to draw when I didn't know what to draw, but it, it gave me a new direction on how to explore other subject matters besides just um, superheroes and villains and fighting and fan art and stuff like that. It actually gave me a reason to examine people and feelings and, and things like that. Boy, from my from my project, Boy at the End, which it will be a project at some point. I am, I've been hunting for this and building and crafting this project over the years, which many of you may know. And I'll do a whole video on that one day. But for now, I just wanted to talk about boy in the capacity of getting over artist block. There is a few ways, and obviously we could talk about this, you know, forever and ever and come up with a lot of ways, but the few ways that I have found is pull your sketchbook out. Don't worry about finished pieces. Don't worry about blowing people's minds. You don't have something to draw. You can't think you're feeling blocked. Do, do some workouts. It's same thing. If I'm at home and I'm, you know, I feel bored or I'm just, something's not feeling right, I put my headphones on and I go for a walk and I go walk three, four, five miles, shake it up a little bit. I, I work it out. And that's the same thing. Filling up a sketchbook with hands. Today's feet day. Let me do expressions. Let me try. Let me fill up four sketchbook pages with eyeballs. Let me fill up sketchbook pages with different kinds of shoes. All the kind of stuff that we don't think about doing could unlock the next thing that you want to draw. Um, so you got that. Reach out to social media. Ask people, guys, I don't know what to draw. I have no idea what to draw. What, what, give me some suggestions. I'll post them. It's a really good way to interact with your with uh, with all the people as well. Meet friends, you know, get feedback, all that kind of stuff. Um, and last of all, create a character. Give yourself a go-to character. Keep them in the wings. They're always there for you. Place them in a place them in a desert. Place them on a roller coaster. Those are some of the ways that I get over artist block. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Subscribe, as my sons would say, hit that bell to get notifications when new videos are coming out. Run over to scottyyoung.com for prints and books and comics and stickers and original art and the daily sketches. And uh, you can buy the daily sketch that you just watched me draw. All right. We'll see you guys next time.